Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Firatis. Um On the last episode we kind of made it halfway through the uh, floor dungeon. Um, I'm, I actually did a really bad thing. Um, when I was logging into the game I accidentally uh, deleted the old game that uh, I had on the last episode. So I had to create a new game, start all over again from the first floor and um, came all the way to middle of the second where I left off on the last episode. So as you can see some of the artifacts that I have is a little bit different. Um, the pattern of might I have this one on. All minions gain 10% uh, vigor or health until the battle ends, which is a really nice one. And this one gives them plus 4 armor. Uh, this one's a new one that I've seen. Uh, it unlocks a secret destruction spell that deals 20 to 40 magic damage to the first 3 enemies. But that's uh, it's, it's cost 30 mana. So what I did was I went to the graveyard and... Um, unlock the uh, Eratus statue, all of it. So what that does is uh, each minion restores 8 mana after the battle. So when the battle ends, I'll have a good chunk of mana back. I don't use the spell too often, but I just use it, you know, when, uh, when it's necessary. Um, as you can see, the excavation, uh, you know, I went ahead and we unlocked it. Uh, but this one I can unlock because... Uh, I need to unlock that minion first. And then on the uh, dead leg, I still have to unlock the last one, but I need some of these points. So, other than that, uh, everything else is the same. I still have to unlock these. Well, that one I can unlock, but I'm saving the points so I can actually unlock the uh, all four slots on the dead leg. Uh, this one, you know, the obelisk, I haven't unlocked it yet, the library I haven't unlocked, but uh, hopefully we'll get some uh, some talent points and also, uh, uh, oops, yeah, slowly once, once I build some of these points up, then, um, or up here, the uh, architect souls. All right, so let's jump into the, uh, oh, also on the minions, as you can see, I have a level 6, and then I have the Lost Soul, which is a level 5, and all the rest of these guys are level 5. Hopefully, by the time we get to the boss, they'll be level 6, or hopefully level 7. So let's jump into the next battle. So also... As you can see, I did some upgrades. So this guy starts off with two block. She starts off with three and three. And then the vampire starts two and two. And then the uh, the bride starts one. But I can always uh, buff her up. So, and here's the uh, destruction spell. As you can see, I used it on the last battle. So I'm, uh, I'm a little shy. What I'll do is I'm probably going to wait until the battle ends once I get full and then I'll use it on the next battle. Alright, with that said and done, let's, uh, let's kill these guys. <laughs> and as you can see, they're all, also their initiative is high, so they always get the first, first attack. Just uh, buff the the little punk. I'm sorry, we'll get you. One more for the stockpiles.
<laughs> this never gets old. Yeah, so each time you start the uh, the game, you actually start off fresh. Uh, nothing's the same, everything changes. I really like the fact that these guys have the block. Uh, it really helps out to, during the battle and also when they go first, you know, their initiative is high, uh, they go first, so uh, I really like that. Plus having the lost soul um, helps out a lot with the buffs. By the way, that fire buff, it uh, stacks, Irish. which is really nice. He should be gone on the next turn, so I'm just gonna, not going to worry about him. There he goes. Yeah, you can also see I've upgraded some of them. Um, it, they just need uh, one or two to get to legendary. But I don't. Oh, I have these. I can actually uh, make them uh, make them legendary. Let's put an alchemist. Uh, skeleton will clean up this mess later. Ah, the smell of successful alchemy. <laughs> Ugh. Eh, it's all right. The stats for for the tank, I really wanted to have to have him more more block and uh, ward, but well, it's better than nothing. Let's see if we can upgrade her. No, definitely not. Uh, vampire. Uh, let me see how many flesh we have. Oh, we can upgrade her flesh. Awesome. Behold my work. Oh, she's got, she gets one ward, two resistance, five vigor. Uh. Not that she needed the ward, but well, at least she got five more uh, HPs out of that. All right, next battle. We really don't need it, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, I could uh, use the uh, full mana, but I think he's got full mana right up here. You can see. Um, We'll just go with HP. Oh yeah, this guy. They're they're all really uh, hard to kill mobs. But uh, I'm gonna start with her first, and of course it gets redirected. Fifty percent chance of getting redirected. All right. Your wish is my command. No, 
no, no, you don't do that. You do not do that. Uh, let's buff her up first. She has the less, less HP and she just got marked. Your frail bodies fail you. Okay, that's right. Sucker, you didn't see that big shield over there? Why are you going to white? What's wrong with you? Get back over here. Oh man. Now that's gonna leave a mark. That's right. Why are they going twice? I don't understand. You. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna use this. Actually, this. <coughs> and then I'm gonna use this. Ashes to ashes, dust, dust to dust. dust. Now, what are you guys gonna do? Nobody there to protect you. Yeah, you better go insane. Take the wards away. Oh! Soon this world will be mine. Slip right through my hands. I was gonna cast a vampire on him, on her. Oh nice, we got two flesh. We and we got the Cinderella shoe. Let's see. Yeah, it's not bad, but I like this one a lot better. All enemies lose five initiative until the end of the back the combat. Now I will make mortals tremble before me, well, even more than previously. So on my uh, talents, alchemy, I went ahead and upgraded this. So the brides have plus 10 luck, uh, 10 initiative, and, oh I'm sorry, evasion, and also 10 accuracy. Um, don't really care about that that much. Increases the amount of threat. I uh, don't care about that much and don't care about this that much. Although I, I do want to get this. Increases chance of receiving an artifact by 20% and also this one. Receiving parts. I think I'm going to wait and go for this and then get this one. 
and let me see if we have body parts to upgrade her nope we have a lot of hearts plus two resistance six evasion two initiative and she has accuracy initiative and one block this is really nice for her all right let's go to the grave to see what we get yeah I'll take the vampire and we're very close to the boss also uh, no you gotta go first but this guy has 50% chance of redirect to self I hope we're on the other 50 that we can get her out of the way uh, can't use that yet take those blocks away from him add blocks to my minions No, don't do that. She's going to regenerate now. Yes. Easy. Finally got rid of her. Now this guy's turn.
what? I didn't know he could regenerate. That's new. Well, yeah, you should, this guy's immune to uh, stress attacks, so might as well buff him up. Nice shot, sweetie. That's the necromancer. A sad display for mortal kind. Alright, we got two artifacts. We got this one. Nah, it's not really that good. All enemies lose minus three armor, minus three resistance. No, I like this one better. Uh, the ring increases the baseline chance of the enemy will die due to a heart attack, 15%. No, I like this one better. Yeah, the rest of this is pretty much junk. Yeah. Alright, so... Let's see, we have enough parts? Nope. We need these ectoplasm. Alright. Oh man, quest. This will initiate battle. Can't use that. And this will initiate battle. I think I'm going to use this one. You can't stop him. You will need to face the reinforcements or perhaps a well-placed arrow will stop him in his tracks. Yeah, let's let's do that one. To battle. Oh crap. These are all the elite guys too. Hmm. All right, let's get rid of her first, but these guys, they all have 50% chance. Let's see though, we might get lucky. Let's get rid of some of these. Uh, Armor and ward. One more hit on her. Man, I wonder how many three rounds. All right, that's not bad. Yes. Kind of entertainment. Right. He's next.
Who's marked? She is. Stop regeneration. This one voided its bowels just as it died. That's right. Can't run away. Oh man, he's got a he's got a ward. Let me get rid of the ward first. Oh man. Oh, you know if this keeps up, we'll be done purging the world ahead of schedule. What were the chances she was gonna hit him with a critical hit? Nice. We got some blue ones over here blue parts and we leveled up uh put her on uh get her lock up i expect results and same for her and we can also upgrade the blood on her Vigor, resistance, and attack. Not bad. As long as it has attack on it, I don't mind it. Yeah, it really uh, sucks when you get like defensive stuff for these guys. Because these guys are your damage dealers. So, we got three talent points. 
and I was gonna use it yeah I was gonna actually I want to unlock this like I was saying on the last episode that I want to unlock this it uh, removes all debuffs from you and then also all the positive buffs from the enemy with knowledge and will comes yeah, we just need victory. One, one more to unlock that so hopefully next battle we got two more battles before bots let's get those out of the way now I'm gonna use the spell come on yeah got rid of those uh, wards that they had now I'm gonna get rid of the shields or the blocks I'm sorry That's gonna send them back. that stuff brave are an excellent source of fresh corpses using it as fertilizer nice we got two blood and they don't need it everybody's upgraded nice I take these guys out and put the vampire in there just in case as backup oh she needs to be upgraded but uh, let's see um, should I put it on health? Yeah, I might. Get back to battle. Oh, he's got one more. Yeah, put it on the attack. Oh, he's got one more. Uh, yeah, why not? So hers. Put it on the lock. I think uh, 
Okay, there's two spaces. We'll just put her back in there. And we have three talent points. Now we can unlock this. With knowledge and will comes victory. Let's see. Yeah, let's use that. Finally, this item finds its way into my capable hands. We use, because since we had two, we're going to use it one on this battle and one of the dynamites on the boss battle. Very Get rid of those shields from you, buddy. Extinction of life. Take it easy, Necromancer. He gets excited too easily. Awesome, he's done for. Bye bye. Civilizations. All right, the lost soul leveled up. Let's see. I want to put it on the uh, evasion, so she's gonna be hard to uh, hit. Or uh, should I put it on this initiative? She she has extra turns. Yeah, let's do that. <sighs> Prove yourself worthy of my investment. Let me see. I think we have, we have enough to uh, upgrade our part. Nice. Very nice one. We got... We got the HP, the accuracy, she really doesn't need the accuracy, but the evasion, 12%. We'll see if we can make another one. No, don't have enough. All right, moment of truth, guys. Boss battle, second floor. Oh, this guy, he's, he's not bad. He's like, Yeah.
you can't really damage him. So you have to, you have to kill these. For each one of these that dies, he's gonna get damaged. So first off, let's start off with that. And then we're just gonna buff everybody up. Good, good. More materials. Ooh, I didn't think it would be this easy. Try not to kill this one. This one, all it does is buffs him. But this guy here you know, he can be dangerous. This one voided its bowels just as it died. Uh, let's hit this one with flame. Like this one's taking pictures. Become part of the breathless tide. One more? Yeah, we gotta kill one more of these guys. As worthless awesome. as you were in life, you will be worth something in death. Awesome. We got the hook. And some upgrade this one the blood i'd like to see what this one is also but it's a one-time use only so all right let's exit the dungeon get everybody oops not that they need any healing but i think level seven is max Maximum level that they can go up to. So my enemies are in for a nasty surprise. She's got twenty-two percent evasion. That's really good. Uh, what is this blood? Attack accuracy and luck. Oh man. Decisions, decisions. Let me see what she needs. Vigor, resistance, and attack. Hmm.
I think I'm gonna use it on her. Now she has 39% attack. Her resistance zero, but she's a damage dealer. Also, after winning the battle, Eretus gains a non-considerable artifact. Oh, very nice. Now I will make mortals tremble before me. Well, even more than previously. Alright guys. Um, <clears throat> this is the third floor dungeon. As you can see, it's... Uh, it's pretty big. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna show you guys one battle. The first battle is there's only three uh, guys in there, three bad guys. Um, let's jump in and look at the new mobs. Yeah. Uh, and you can see our uh, spells over here. So, I'm gonna use the, uh, the lighten on them, and I want to get rid of this guy first. Yeah, they cast the, uh, it gives them 30 plus 33 evasion. It's just for one round, so it's not bad. This is what a thousand years of evolution looks like. Yeah, pathetic. Sorry, my phone just went off. Misses. We got level six brain. That's awesome. And the bride leveled up. Uh, we're gonna put it on evasion. She's got 30% evasion. That's really nice. All right, guys. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for being here with me. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.